How do you start the creative process? When you, when you want to make a sculpture, where do you start? Um, anything goes, anything goes. I just have to find something that attracts me. And uh, well, the other day I started with a, a piece of clay. It was not regular clay, it was a, a earth, uh, earthware, what do you call it? Earthware, with the grains and texture mm -hmm. in it already. So already you roll that around and, uh, and already you, you know, the, the touch on your fingers and you're looking at it and uh, I already had the uh, desire to start, but not to do something, just to touch it and roll it and do something. But start, it's not really a start. Well, was that a beginning? Was that a beginning? Yeah, it, was, it turned out to be a beginning. But uh, I don't come one day in the studio saying, okay, now I'm going to start a sculpture and I'm going to uh, make a, you know, whatever, a form, a shape. No, it's never like that. So you don't start out with, uh, with a little drawing or an idea of a, oh, of a concept? Or? Well, I do little drawings. Yeah. Um, well, like that. But, uh, but, but it stops very fast if, if I do the drawings. After 15 minutes of uh, doodling around on the on the piece of paper, then as uh, it goes nowhere, uh, I, I try and I try to see ideas turning it turning it around in another way. It doesn't work, and then very very soon, very soon, I have the desire to touch something and see what it looks like in three dimensions and in material, not mm. not just a visual of an idea. Yeah. So the, the drawing, uh, I don't even know why I do it. I do it, well, maybe because I had thought of things, but it stops there. I, I yeah. can't go any further. But is, is it like a trigger that gets the process going? No, 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 no. no, no, no. What it's is the trigger? When I, when, I do, when I do the drawings, it's that I know that, that I'm in need of working. I have yeah. to work, and I have not worked maybe for a little while. And then... Uh, you know, maybe I think it will accelerate things of doing little drawings, but then very soon it, it's useless. Mm -hmm. uh, from the drawing, I cannot really put my heart in it or, or, or desire. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't trigger the desire. Whereas as soon as I uh, decide, okay, I'm not going to go anywhere with the drawing, I'm going to touch something, stone, wood, mm -hmm. clay, you know, the other yeah. day it was clay. Um, as soon as I, as I start that, I don't know what I will do, but it triggers the uh, desire, a very strong desire. So it's a process. You, you're not going towards a, a defined uh, goal when you, when you start a sculpture. It's a process that involves you and the, and the material you're working with. Yeah, how does, uh, how does the, that work? The, the, well, the material triggers the desire. I think the main process of creation uh, is the desire, you know, the, uh, uh, I don't know the word, uh, uh, you know, desire is a word, but there will be another that I might come up with. Uh, I think the main process of creation is to have that uh, elan, uh, how do you say that in English? The, uh, the, well, that excitement, that drive. That the drive, drive yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the main thing. Yeah. And for me, it is not triggered by thought, or drawing, it is triggered by touch and, and look and weight, and it's triggered by that. Once it is triggered, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's physical, it's tactile? Yeah, tactile, yeah. but also physical, you know, the, the sense of, uh, of the view, of the sight. Yeah. Sensory. It's sensory, sensory. Yeah. it is sensory. Yeah. Uh, but also even the weight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would not have that feeling with a uh, styrofoam. Right. But the final result comes out of a process uh, that involves you and in contact with the material, and absolutely. not and not the realization of an idea. Oh, absolutely not! No, 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 no. no. And, the, and the desire that comes with the contact with the, this with the material, yeah. Uh, then it evolves between me and the material, and it it becomes something tangible, concrete, object, you know, sculpture. Yeah. Uh, but this is by evolution together, but the first, you say, how do you start? So mm -hmm. that's the answer to that precise question. It starts with the starting of, of the, the drive, desire, the drive. Mm -hmm. And then anything is possible. You know, the thing that, that started that process 
could fall and break. And then, if the process is in me already, I would make something with a break, broken pieces mm -hmm. and put them together, add something. It doesn't matter. The process is in, mm -hmm. in, on the road. Yeah. Well, it seems to be almost like a dialogue or a conversation between, between you and the materials you're using. You know, what's the role? I mean, I, we can imagine your role as an artist, uh, but what is the role of of the material itself in this in this conversation? Does well, it guide a, you to some extent? Well, it's the main actor. Yeah. It's the main actor. If you know, in fact, what what I'm doing maybe is to uh, emphasize some characteristics of, of, of the material of the matter material mm -hmm. that is in it already. And my role is only to to see it, to be touched by it, and and then what I. What comes out when I say, okay, this is a sculpture at the end of mm -hmm. the process, what comes out is what was already in the material, but that I just put more visible, uh, more um, emphasized, obvious, yeah. more yeah. In, in light. See? Yeah, that's well, that, all. that reminds me of Michelangelo's famous saying that he that the form was in the marble already and he merely liberated it. Do you, do you feel that you're doing that to some no, extent? No, I understand what he's saying because he believed in the form. Uh, this is not the way, well, <laughs> I, I'm not Michelangelo. And, uh, and also my, uh, what touches me much more than the form is the, 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 the material itself, you know, make, the, the, make it sensible, uh, sensitive. Uh, yeah. Uh, more than the form, it could be kind of any form, but I understand what he says because what he says about the form, because this was his thing, you know, mm -hmm. this is what he was looking for, the you know perfect harmony, balanced equilibrium of form and, and expression and all mm -hmm. that. What he was looking for, it was in the material because he took it out, you know, he took it out of the material by cleaning the material, finding mm -hmm. this in it. I understand that. Mm -hmm. What I find in it. In the matter is not the form, but it's also what I'm looking for, which is not the same thing as he was looking for. But what mm. I am looking for, I find it in it too. It's already in it, but it's not yeah. the form. It's not the form. Yeah. That's the only difference. I mean, <laughs> well, I guess the difference. I guess the difference. <laughs> no, the so difference is, that he, is yeah. he had a precise idea of the form that he wanted to extract from the stone. Yeah, he knew right. he, he knew he was going to do the Pietà. Yeah, uh, exactly. And, and whereas exactly. Your, your process is, exactly. is but not that, quite that's that. A, even yeah. for him, it's a secondary thing because yeah. uh, you know the, the main thing of the Pieta is uh, is um, you know some uh, correlation correlation or um, exchange mm -hmm. between him and the piece of marble that he wanted mm -hmm. to work and uh, and the feeling he had for the subject yeah. and for the, that beautiful marble. Yeah, well. I mean, not not to go on and on with a comparison between no, you and Michelangelo, it's but it's an right. interesting uh, a, a example of a process that's that's similar and and, and different. And and we go, I want to go back to the notion of form, because somebody like like Michelangelo, a more cl classical sculptor, would uh, would have an idea of the image of the form and even of the the the, the message and the feelings that he wanted to convey before he started to release that from the marble mm -hmm. or whatever the, the, the matter is. What is your relationship to form, to the final result of your work in terms oh, the of the final form? result? No, but it's not the same thing. Your question, uh, I don't quite understand. Well, the, que the question is, because Instead the final of, result and form yeah. are not necessarily the same okay. thing. Well, what, is the, what is the importance of form? First of all, the, the notion of form going in to your process and then how, how maybe form evolves during your process and, well, and to know, a final result. It's ever present, obviously. Anything concrete, anything material has a form. So it's mm -hmm. ever present. Mm -hmm. But my intervention is not... Uh, with the goal of, of finding the perfect form. The form is secondary to, to texture or, mm -hmm. or, or, or touch for yeah. me. But it's just personal, it's just my approach. You know?